Hello and welcome to the second matchup of the second round. And today we've got the Kinship Self Reflect against the My Shell Sun Protect Liquid. And the Kinship beat out, let me double check this. Uh, the Kinship in the first round beat out the Kopari Sundays. And the My Shell beat out the Sun Tegrity 5 in 1 Sunscreen Moisturizer. So we've got these two matchups, which. You know, it's getting really hard because I've got so many now in the second round that I really love. The first round was mostly easy, but the second round, like, I love both of these. So, anyway. Uh, and then I just want to tell Gloria this is her beanie baby, and its name is Zoe. And I love the stripes because you can make it reverse into pink stripes. I should have invented these. They're so cool. Anyway, I never thought at this age I'd be collecting beanie babies, but... You never know what the day is going to bring. Okay, anyway, also really quick, I just want to say I purchase all these products with my own money. I'll never waste your time sponsored ads or videos. So if you want to help support the channel, check out nobsbeauty.com. Check out my Patreon community or click on the Amazon link below. Okay, so two really great uh, tinted sunscreens. So uh, let me just get right off to it. So in terms of alcohol, both of these products are free from denatured or drying types of alcohol. Uh, the Kinship has a slight vanilla scent to it from vanilla, which is not an irritating form of fragrance. Actually, it can be a beneficial ingredient. Uh, and the My Shell is fragrance-free, so overall, I considered that a tie. They're both manufactured in the U.S., so no issues with that. Then we get down to texture, and these are both, uh, total opposites in terms of texture. So the Kinship, let me apply it has a nice uh, lotiony gel texture, which really smooths over skin uh, pretty easily. Feels like you're just applying a moisturizer, really, which is really nice for people that uh, are sunscreen haters. Uh, absorbs quickly enough that it's not an issue. And then uh, it sets to kind of a natural finish, which is, I would say, just slightly tacky. Not enough to be an issue for anybody, though. And the My Shell, let me give it a good shake up, has a liquid texture, which I will apply another dropper bottle, which is annoying, but I get it, uh, which smooths over skin easily and absorbs quickly, so you want to work kind of fast with it, but uh, it sets to a nice matte finish, which is not sticky at all. So overall, I gave My Shell the point barely just because... Uh, the finish for it is not uh, tacky, while the kinship is just slightly. Uh, then we get to white cast. Obviously, both of these are tinted. The kinship has a slight tint, which prevents that dreaded white cast, but the tint for this one is also super universal. Uh, it's light enough that fair people can use it, but the tint is not pigmented too much where deeper skin tones would have an issue with it. The My Shell, what I love that they've done is they've got this in three different uh, shades. So you've got one that has no pigment at all, which can be for very fair tones. You've got this one, which is light medium for those with medium uh, to light medium deeper tone. And then they've got a deep color, which is for deep skin tones. So I love that they've got three shades. So if one doesn't work for you, if you're very, very, very fair, you can get the light one. If you're very, very deep, you can get the deeper one. And anyone else in the middle, most people will be able to do okay with the medium shade. So overall, I gave my shell a point because of having three options. It's nice, especially for those on either end of the spectrum to have an option. So I like that. Uh, and then the skin tones for both of them, though, in my opinion, for my skin tone at least, uh, are pretty pretty good and you don't notice any white cast or sunscreen look okay the filters for these the kinship uses 22.4 percent zinc oxide has an spf 32 and it's broad spectrum uva coverage uh, the my shell has 16.1 percent zinc oxide and it's got an spf 50 and broad spectrum uva coverage so Overall, my shell gets the point just because the SPF is a little bit stronger. But just remember, between SPF 30 and 50, there's not a huge difference. There is a difference, but it's not huge. So I wouldn't mess around with a sunscreen that you really dislike just because it's a little bit higher on the SPF scale. So just 
pick up something you like and you know you'll use every day. Uh, ease of use. So the Kinship, it feels just like applying a moisturizer. Very easy to use. Uh, absorbs pretty easily. No pilling issues. And it works nicely under foundation. Uh, the My Shell smooths over skin pretty easily and absorbs quickly. Uh, it seems to work best if you apply it just over a light serum. But overall, I thought the Kinship was a little bit easier to use. Most people are going to be able to use it easier just because it's just like a moisturizer. And everyone knows how to apply a moisturizer. So I gave Kinship the point there. Then we get to beneficial ingredients. So the Kinship. We've got coconut alkynes. Aloe, apple fruit extract, lactobacillus ferment, uh, raspberry seed oil, coconut oil, turmeric oil, shea butter, jojoba esters, vitamin E, licorice root, vanilla, and lecithin. So 13. That's a long list of good ingredients. Most of them uh, are good hydrating ingredients. Uh, then with the My Shell, we've got agave tequiliana leaf extract, which is uh, kind of an astringent ingredient. We've got hydrolyzed wheat protein, jojoba esters, maltose, and vitamin E, so five. So for beneficial ingredients, Kinship gets the point there pretty easily. Then we get to acneogenic ingredients. And um, just like Kinship had a long list of beneficial ingredients, we've got a long list of acneogenic ingredients. We've got cetero alcohol, coconut alkynes, coconut oil, shea butter, vitamin E, butylene glycol, isosteric acid, Polyglycerol 3, polyrictoliate, which I should learn to pronounce because it's like showing up on everything. And then sorbinolate, so it does have some fungal acne triggers as well as uh, acne triggers. So 9. Then we get to the Michelle, and this is actually fungal acne safe, so that's not very common for a lot of products, especially sunscreens. Uh, and then Cetera alcohol and vitamin E. So Michelle got the point for that. Both brands are cruelty-free, so very nice. Then we get to performance and protection. The Kinship, super easy to reapply throughout the day because it's just like a moisturizer. Especially if you don't use a foundation, it's even more easy. I would say it's geared towards those with dry or normal skin that is sensitive but not acne-prone. Uh, oilier skin might like the Kinship, though, in place of a moisturizer. Uh, the My Shell is not the easiest to reapply just due to the texture because it absorbs so quickly. Uh, it doesn't smooth as easily. But if you're not having to reapply it, it lasts nicely throughout the day without getting greasy or accentuating dry patches. But overall, I gave Kinship the point. Then we get to price. So the Kinship is 1.75 ounces, 50 milliliters, and retails for about $25, making it 50 cents a milliliter. Making it um, right in the middle, I would say. Uh, then we get to the Michelle, which is one ounce, 30 milliliters. Retails for $24, uh, which equals 80 cents a milliliter, making uh, Kinship a little bit more affordable. And then uh, this is the, this was the closest matchup out of all of them. Uh, Kinship, it factor. Great, for, great option for sensitive, non-acne prone skin that's dry or normal. No alcohol, nice option for most skin tones and very easy to reapply. Uh, the Michelle Fungal Acne Safe. I love the three shade options. Lasts all day. Uh, great for sensitive skin that's overall dry, oily, normal, or acne prone. It's kind of all over the place, but it, it works well for my dry skin. And uh, those with oiler skin I've talked to love this as well because it doesn't end up looking greasy. So for the it factor, I gave Michelle the point. And this was a hard one. So finally, the Kinship ended up with eight points, including the ties. And the My Shell ended up with nine. So this is the closest matchup so far. And it's hard to let Kinship go during this one because I just wanted to keep going. But someone's got to lose. So anyway, I'm interested in hearing from you guys if you've had a chance to try either of these or both of these and what your thoughts are. So... Uh, definitely leave a comment. I love hearing from you and stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thank you so much, guys.